All right, hello and welcome. Today we will be showing you how to create um, reflections in the water. You'll see our little beaver reflection here from our saber tooth beaver. I'll show you how to create this image here today. Um, we'll be uh, working on this uh, whole idea of creating reflections. Um, it's very similar to shadows. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go file. Uh, I'm going to start with a new image here. Um, I'm just going to grab a full HD uh, image here. And let's start off with, um, let's open our background. I'm going to go to my layers. I'm going to open an image as layer, third option down. And I'm going to pull in my gum swamp here. This is just an image I found on Google. Nice little swamp. Um, I could expand it up, but if I do, it's going to pixelate just a little bit. See if I still like it. Yeah, boy, it, it's getting just a little pixelated. I think, um, I think I'm just going to keep it in its original size, and we'll we'll crop it down later on. So here's here's that background. <clears throat> now uh, we're going to add in some beavers into this. Um, so for our next layer, let's add an image as a layer. Uh, I'm going to add some saber tooth beavers. Here's one of my beavers. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's another one. I'm going to add this little guy in right here. I'm going to shrink him down just a bit. And to this beaver, I'm going to add some saber tooth horns. Uh, make him a saber tooth beaver, something a little more prehistoric and threatening to the trees, I guess. So I'm gonna, I have a saber tooth tiger uh, skull in here somewhere. There we go. Woo, that's a nice big skull. I'm going to shrink this one down. Okay, let's zoom in. Now I need to steal the teeth off this thing. And I can imagine that, like I see his gum line, I can see his teeth. So I don't need the, all the teeth all the way up to where they connect. I just need, I just need a little lower down. I'm gonna use my lasso tool for this. I'm gonna draw a line that goes down through the teeth. And then I'm just gonna kind of generally grab this area here. I'll go Control X, cut that out. Um, I can right click on that layer and trash it. And I can paste Control V. I'll take my uh, magic wand at this point. So I've got my teeth here. I'll click on those uh, teeth. I'm on the default tolerance of 32, no feathering. Let's see how, how we did here. Go Control D, zoom in. Oh, you see those little white lines? I don't like that so well. So I'm going to go back here. Um, I'm going to go back to my t wand here. I'm going to feather this just a little bit. And uh, tolerance, I'm going to, let's see. Let's increase our tolerance just a little bit. Now let's see what we get. Wait for my computer to catch up here. It's thinking, it's thinking. Oh, it got a little slow here. Sorry about that, my computer's dragging behind. There we go. Go Control D. I still have those lines. Oh well, that's okay. I'll just use an eraser and I'll erase them off. There we go. I'll clean up a little bit around the edges of these if I wanted to. I don't have to get too picky because I'm going to shrink these guys down quite a bit. Now, I know I'm going to create a second beaver as well in the background here. So I'm actually going to create an extra set of these um, guys right here. I'm going to select my layer here and I'm going to hit this duplicate button. I'll set some more horns or uh, uh, teeth over there for now. Now these guys are facing the wrong way, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to flip horizontal. You can also do that by coming up here to edit, transform, um, and you have flip horizontal, flip vertical, all that same functions are built into there. Uh, now I do need to shrink these down to beaver size. And I'm also going to rotate them slightly. So. Let's see, on those horns, um, a way you can do this, you can go edit, free transform. And I'm going to grab those, the edge of this thing here, until I get that little angled arrow. I'll go like that, how about, that looks pretty good to me. Now, I'll apply my transition there. And then you see this right here, I've got the teeth are a little bit in front of the lip. So I've got a way of fixing that. I'm going to take my magic wand, 
I'm going to go to my beaver layer here, this one here. I'm going to name this one uh, beaver1. And I'm going to grab that beaver's lips with my, uh, or not magic wand, but rather with the lasso. I'm just going to grab his lips right there. And I'm going to copy him, control C, and I'll paste him. So I've got this little layer of extra lip here. I can line that up if I wanted to. And when I bring over the, the, the horns here, that lip layer is on top. So right here I could call this lips, I suppose. We can get those horns a little a little further in, kind of tucked in behind that lip. All right, I like the looks of that. So I'm going to merge the lips down one layer. And then um, right here is the horns. There's the lips. Oh, I made a mistake. I went control. I see I added, I forgot I'd added these guys over here and move that to the front. Now the lips are on top of the teeth, which are on top of the beaver. I'm going to merge those three layers together. A couple ways to do it. I could merge down twice. Another way I could do the same thing is I could hide everything else except for this and then right click and I can merge visible. But you see what that did is it got rid of my other layers. So I don't want that either. Um, another thing you could do is flatten image. That takes them all to the same layer. So th that's what those other layers do. So if we bring those back, we're going to use that merge down function. We'll merge down the lips into the, the uh, teeth and then move, merge that down into the beaver. See, I can rename this beaver one. So that's a way we can create an animal fusion um, that has a little more realism to it. All right. Time for Beaver 2 and to also create a reflection. Oh, you see his tail there? That's okay because we're going to ultimately crop using the cropping tool. We're going to cut his tail off out of the picture. His tail will be hanging out of the picture. Let's go ahead and add a second beaver in here. We'll go layer, add image as layer, third item down. We'll grab my second beaver here. And we're going to shrink him down. Let's have him chewing on this tree back here. Here we go. We'll zoom in on him. All right. Now, the problem is, if I want him chewing on that tree, there's a few things I could do. Do I want him in front of the tree? I suppose I could, sitting on the bank. What if I want him, like, closer to the tree, though? Let's say he's, he's actually kind of behind the tree. Well, I could do something like this. And then I could go in there, take my lasso, and I could actually draw a line down this tree here. Select that. We're going to delete that off, give them the impression that it's actually chewing on the backside of this tree. Right? So these are like crazy prehistoric beavers. So they're pretty big critters. You know, they're a lot bigger than your average beaver, obviously. So um, we'll, take, um, we'll take those teeth now. We'll give them these teeth. They won't be showing very much because they're going to be mostly hidden behind the tree, probably. we have got to shrink those down. We'll put that in front of the beaver for now. OK, if we zoom out here, see that? I'm trying to get the teeth in perspective with the beaver so that they're about the same size. I think that looks pretty close. Now it's just a matter of positioning and rotation. So I can grab this little handle up here and I can rotate those as well. Okay. Same idea here. Um, we could take the lips off of this beaver. So I'm going to take my uh, lasso tool here. We'll make a copy of its lips. Paste that copy of the lips wherever it went. Let's see. Where did the copy of the lips go? Let's find out. 
Oh, they're di they're down here. Doesn't look like it copied off quite right. Let's try that again. I'm gonna delete that layer I just created. Go back to the lasso here. Oh, you know why it didn't work? It's because I w um, I need to make sure I'm on the beaver, and I was on the I was on the teeth. So the beaver is this layer down here. So when I go in here and copy off the lips, I copied it from the wrong layer is why that didn't work. If I go Control V, there's the lips. Come back over here and add those back on. We got our teeth right here. And then we will go ahead and chop off the excess where the tree is. Maybe just one pixel row more. There we go. Cut this off the beaver here. And off the lips. Okay. A little happier with that now. We've got him in the background. And then let's merge that background beaver, all those layers that are involved with them. Let's merge them down. So we want to get the image uh, merged with beaver PNG. One more. Okay, now that's all one image. Let me take this beaver here, and you'll see the, we have the reflection of the tree right here. We need to put this beaver into the pond, a reflection of it. So we are going to copy it, duplicate, and then we will come on down here and we're going to rotate, flip that thing vertically. Now the feet are not going to be in the reflection of the pool. Does that make sense? So we're going to need to probably chop the feet off. So I'm going to put them, I'm looking at the tree down here. Looks like we got the beaver connected with the tree, beaver connected with the tree. Now, there's one other issue. You see, I had to move him over because this, the way the reflection and the light works, this tree up here is kind of at an angle. So I need to put this, this beaver at a little bit of an angle too. So I'm going to go edit, free transform. I'm just going to pull this beaver over just a little bit. Whoops. You know what I did though? I don't want to apply that. I don't want free transform. I want free distort. Look at this. Because we can pull that beaver over like this. So the reflection's at a slight angle compared to the original. There we go. We have a bit of a rhombus like shape there. We'll apply that. And then we need to blur this image a little bit. You'll notice the trees are a little more blurry in the water than they are up top. So we're going to go up to our filters, details, blur. And we're going to add just a little bit of blur to this. Just enough to where that image in the water gets a little blurry. Here I go. And then I think we're good to go with the exception of the feet are kind of hanging out. So I'm going to come back up here to my lasso tool. And let's say make sure I'm on the right layer here. I'm going to chop his feet off just a bit so that he's more in the water. That way we can see the shore or the bank there. Maybe just a little more. Okay, there we go. So we got a nice reflection in the water. We got pretty cool image overall here. I'm going to go ahead and crop this up, grab my cropping tool, drag this down and in to the corners of my picture. It's going to chop that beaver's tail off. That's okay, no problem there. I'll apply. And at this point, um, if I was still going to work on this, I could go File, Save. I could save it as a PXD. That's like a rough draft because it'll, it'll keep all your layers. So you can keep working on things. Or I could call it a JPEG. And uh, the JPEG will automatically merge all the layers together for me. So in this case, I'm going to name this thing, um, let's see, Saber Toothed Beaver or Beavers. We'll download that. We could change the quality settings if we needed to. 
And at that point, I'm ready to download my image. There it is. It's on my computer now or on your Chromebook. And at which point you can upload it to turn it in as an assignment. All right, hope you enjoyed um, seeing how to create a little higher quality image here.